Okay. Now I'll call the meeting to order. It is 5.02 p.m. on August 3rd, 2023. Um, take a note of the attendance on the line. We have uh, Judy Keene, Pat Hayes, John Moody, Cindy Greenblatt, and Kevin Hill are all present. I sent out the meeting minutes uh, from the last meeting on Monday, um, and um, people had a chance to look at those. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, if so, does anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as submitted. Okay. To the second that. Okay. okay. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Um, next, we have the noise complaints that got sent out a little bit ago. John sent those over to me earlier today. Did, did folks have a chance to look at those? And John can obviously speak to those. Um, so you, you don't have those in front of you, let me know and I can resend those. But in the meantime, John, do you want to just go over the complaints? This is my first time sure. uh, looking at them. Uh, really. Uh, a different set today. So, so the noise for uh, for May to July, we had a total of twenty nine calls, with a total number of fifty six complaints, and from seven different locations. I see my sister Pauline uh, significantly, and for the first time, I think. <laughs> The last name is a giveaway. And the, uh, the the numbers are down, are they, John? More complaints? I honestly don't, I didn't compare them to the last couple months, to be honest with you. Um, I could do that and I could get back to you guys about that. Um, I think that a lot of people are frustrated with calling. It, it, it could be that. It also could be the time of year, too, where, you know, some people are on vacation and stuff like that. But I, I, I have to go back and look, to be honest with you. I think this is what we're averaging, I think. I think the last time it was, in the, uh, I think it was a little bit lower, but I have to go look. Did you notice, John, that many people are saying that these are um, flight schools that are circling overhead? Yes. I, I tried yes. in my... Yep. my comments to actually leave you the, the name of the flight school as well as the planes registration in case you felt like yep. it was worth it to reach out to them. I mean, certainly these oh, schools have been here for 10 years or more, so they know they're just deliberately not. Yeah. So, yeah, when we get to new business, I, I guess I'd like to talk about that. Um, just an observation, because this is the first time I've seen it. My sister Pauline has moved out 40 years ago, and just uh, last year she moved into Weathersfield on, on Hartford Avenue, moving back. So uh, she's, that's the reason. There's a couple of others from Maureen, also Hartford Avenue, but um, I'll have to talk to her and thank her for uh, making me the effort. Any other comments or anything on the noise complaints? All right. Uh, in sorry, addition to the, uh, I'm sorry. In addition to the uh, flight schools, I, I have heard in the last couple of days more jets, small ones and bigger ones. Um, I don't know if that's unique for now or <laughs> it worries me. John, do you have any uh, thoughts on that? Have, there, have you seen an increase in the jet traffic there? Uh, to be honest with you, the last couple of days, I don't know. I have to go back and look into it. Um, uh, I was down at uh, Hartford yesterday at midday, and I did notice a jet on the ramp. Um, um, but um, I don't know what time or day when that came in. Um, 
I know we had um, we did have the increase in um, during the the um, the golf tournament, and then they also had during the golf tournament they lost quite a few jets because of uh, the weather. Uh, they couldn't land in Brainerd because the runway was wet, and they had to work for Bradley. Um, so uh, it was a mix with that this year. And then the other thing that happened, well, it didn't really affect anything, but we had the, we had the, um, the Goodyear blimp during the, um, during the um, t golf tournament this year. The blimp is very quiet. <laughs> yep, it sure is. Bring on the blimps. So. Yeah, we actually saw it flying over the house actually when, when that was out there, so. Yeah, it actually got stuck here for uh, four extra days because of the weather. Uh, the weather was bad, and that can only fly BFR uh, weather, so it so got it was, stuck here for four days. So was that the airport? It just landed and chilled out there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, originally it was supposed to uh, leave Sunday night after after the golf tournament uh, and go do a um, – a promo up in uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. The weather there wouldn't let them do the promo, but then they were going to fly back towards New York, and then the weather that way was uh, was bad. So they ended up just staying in Hartford for four days, and um, which is, I mean, good for the city of Hartford. It, you know, they had uh, like eighteen people there, so that there was eighteen rooms that they had to uh, put up for four more days. So, but. all right, we'll move on to item four. That, the, I'm uh, sorry, one, item three. One, one question here yeah. is it John Moody who yeah. is putting together these uh, noise complaints? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if John, well, thank you for putting in uh, as much detail as you have been. Um, I like that. So, yep. Yeah. So you want to go on the airport operations, Fred? Yes, please. Sure. Okay. So uh, from May to June, uh, May we had 8,612 flights. Uh, June we had 6,950 flights, and in July we had 8,887 flights. Um, and if you kind of look at uh, the chart that was that in there, it looks like. Uh, they're up from all three months from last year, um, except for June. Uh, and June was down a little bit. Um, and my guess was for that would have been, well, it might have, must have been weather, I'm guessing. Okay. And the increases are pretty significant for those for May and July. The other two months, yeah. What is there something? And I think that's because I, I think I think it's the flight schools that are just that much more busier because there is there is a there is a pilot shortage and they're they're recruiting like like crazy. There's an uptick in in all flight schools. I think within Connecticut, I would say. John. May I just clarify? Those aren't flights; those are operations, correct? Uh, those are eight thousand eight hundred and seventy-seven individual flights. That's that's a yes, count yes, of is. operations. Okay, and can it's, can I just yeah. make sure I'm correct here that every time a flight school goes up and circles around ten times, that's twenty operations in and out, in and out. I believe you're correct on that. And if they speak to the tower, that's an additional, that's counted as an operation too. So they could speak to the tower 10 times. So it would be 30 operations. No, they would be the same. It just just because they talk to the tower, it doesn't add, it doesn't add to the count. Okay, let me check that. I thought that was an FAA requirement. Okay, thank you though. I want to make sure you, you cannot tell people those are flights. Those are not 8,000 planes that came in and out of Brainerd Airport. 
you know, took a flight in and out. Very, very. I'll, I'll, I'll double check that for you. Thanks. Okay. Any other comments on the operations? All right. We'll move on to projects. So for projects, uh, the, the only thing is that we finished the tree um, obstruction removal project. The work is completed. The only thing that's not completed with the whole project is the walkthrough, and that was because of the, the uh, flooding of the river, and they have rescheduled that, I think, in sometime in August. I don't have the exact date. And that's a walkthrough with FAA or? Uh, I believe it's with uh, all the stakeholders, uh, Hart, the city of Hartford, uh, the consulting firm. And uh, I, I believe the FAA gets invited, but I don't think they'll actually show up. But I could be wrong. I don't know who, who exactly will show up for it. With them. And, and the other um, the conservancy that um, has property that was affected? Say that again, please. I don't know the name of it. Our local meadows, great meadows. Uh, great meadows, great meadows conservation trust should be invited. Their trees were cut, yeah. as well as the Folly yeah. Nature Center in Weathersfield. So we should be invited as well. I can follow up with uh, engineering on that to see who who was invited. Thank you. Other than that, there's no other current project going on right now, uh, except for uh, routine maintenance. Okay. Can you tell us if there's any projects scheduled for the near future? Uh, yeah, there, right now, I, uh, there's nothing scheduled that I know of. I think in 2026, there might be something scheduled for uh, maybe, but it, to be honest with you, it's going to be all about funding. You know what funding we'll be able to get, and and, yeah, and also also to see what happens with the um, the airport study, the the results of that too. So some things are on hold because of those two things. Possibly nothing until twenty twenty six. Maybe, yeah. I mean, well, next year, um, I mean, we may, maybe, maybe 2025, but I, hmm. the way things are going, I would say probably 2026, you know. That's, um, it all depends on the funding for some of the projects that we have. Because mm -hmm. we have to also compete with the other airports within the CAA for projects too, so. So what would be planned in 2026? Well, the next major project would probably be, um, uh, what do I call it, uh, um, a runway uh, repavement, and taxiway repavement. But I don't know if that would all happen at, at the same time. I don't know if the FAA would pay for both at the same time or did not. You, but. Did you say upgraded pavement? Yeah. Yeah, resurfacing the, the pavement. More like repair? Uh, well, it, it, it's more like a mill and over. Like you would, well, it all depends. It, it would be like a mill and overlay at, at minimum, or depending on when they, before they do commit to something, they have to see the current they'll do like bore testing and stuff like that to see what what the condition of the the pavement is in the sub base if the sub base is um no good they'll probably go for a full depth uh reconstruction if the sub base is good enough uh they would just do a mill and over it depends on the what they do when they when they plan it out but in order to plan it out you got to do some um testing first and right now this year there's nothing planned for this year to do any testing or anything so I, I don't see anything happening next year and 
you know, then maybe next year we might know more if, if anything's going to happen in 25 or 26. So no expansion is in the plans right now? Correct. Any other questions? Okay. On other business, um, Cindy, I was going to see if you wanted to give an update on the um, meetings that you've had regarding the study that's been going on and just the the, the uh, uh, different meetings they've been they've held in general. I think you've been to all of them, right? No, um, Pat and I have been to several, but Judy has been to all of them. Oh, Judy's been to all. Of them. So <laughs> whoever would like to give the update, is welcome. Or you can all share in the in the update. So I'll let Cindy give it. <laughs> okay. I just can speak to the last one. It's the one I you know most recently attended and remember the best. But um, the study has moved along quite quickly. And John, are you um, are you up to date on that? Did you attend any of the meetings? I have attended all the meetings and. Um, I can, this is what I can say about the meeting, the, uh, the study that I know of, all right? Uh, I, as far as the airport is concerned, they finished their environmental study recently, and um, they were in the process of updating all that. Um, my understanding is their economic study is done, their uh, economic study is done, now their environmental study is done, but... The environmental st study has been sent out to DEEP, Connecticut DEEP, and waiting for their their comments back um, is my understanding. Uh, we, we, I haven't seen the, the, that environmental report yet at all. Um, so, uh, but my understanding is that from their meeting that they, they didn't find anything uh, too earth shattering to you know raise alarms they found the normal stuff that you would find at an airport you know old sites of where there might have been old fuel tanks or fuel spills in years ago um there was some pfas found in the in the water in the water table from years ago probably um and uh but um my understanding it was you know it wasn't earth shattering, but there was stuff there. But again, but they didn't say how much it cost to clean any of that up or anything like that. Um, my understanding is that at the next meeting that they have on August 10th, um, they're supposed to give their their opinion, I guess. But um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't, you know, other than that, um, you know, I, I they they should be wrapping it all up by. You know, because they're supposed to have everything in September, I believe. Yeah, I would concur with John. It, it seemed that they had they stated to us that they have had a um, compiled a lot of information that they have given it to DECD as well as DEEP for the environmental piece, and that DECD had asked them, at least this is what they told us, not to reveal anything until they had a chance to review it. But they are in the process now of writing that final report, um, and. Uh, the, may the mayor of Hartford did speak at the last meeting and asked for some higher and best use for the land, but he also had an interesting take that it could perhaps accommodate some kind of uh, flight school. The, I shouldn't say that, I should say the school, the aerotech school may be transitioning to electric, and some kind of more innovative approach rather than the what's going on there now. So I don't know. Uh, I think we'll find out a lot more on August 10th. It's an important meeting. I think the, the fact gathering is done though, from what I could I could see. Judy, did you agree with that? I actually thought that when they were telling us about the contamination there, that they felt it was pretty significant. In fact, to the point that they did not see any other use for it because it's so contaminated that it would take an act of Congress to decontaminate. But they also did say that it's ongoing. And there were some areas where people were told to um, just dump it on pebbles out there someplace. You know, any uh, excess fuel or oils or anything could be just dumped in one area. So uh, I think that there is significant contamination. And I would like to know exactly what it is and um, what it's doing to the river and our cove. 
I know that's not in the study, but I think that has to be a study very shortly because um, this contamination is not gonna stay where it is. All right, anything else on the study? Okay, hearing none, is there any other business anyone would like to discuss? Uh, yeah, I, I like to bring something up. Actually, I like to bring up two things if it's possible. Yeah. Um, the first thing I like to bring up, I was wondering, could we move the the meeting to the first week of the month like this? I don't care what day, you know. The only reason why is for the county, if, if I, we do it the first week of the month, I can get a whole month's worth of uh, counting if that's possible. You know what I'm saying? Um it's just easier, like accounting wise for me. It, it's like full months, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then uh, that, that would be the, my first ask. And then the second thing I'd like to bring up is um, uh, one of the things uh, that uh, I'm working on is with, with the complaints that we're getting, all right? Um, especially with the flight school, all right? I'm, I'm going to start using a piece of software that um, that I'm borrowing. I have to say borrowing because I'm not supposed to be using it from Bradley. And um, it, it, I did find out by using this, this program that I can pull some data from Hartford out of it. Um, and because of that, um, I might be able to now go forward to the flight schools with more information and show them firsthand that, you know, this is what we're finding and try to get them to fly the river approach more and more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to try to be hopeful that um, with this data that I can then present more of a, a case to them to say, hey, you know, you're not you're not helping our cause here at the airport. You know, by doing this, you know what I mean. So, John, would we so, be able to go online and uh, register our complaints online? Uh, no. Well, I'm okay. That's that's it. That's the other thing that is happening. I'll be honest with you. Um, we, I, I'm in the process of starting a new software program for the. Uh, General Aviation Airports and Hartford Brainerd as well, all right? Um, we are going to be, when, when I collect the data, like when you call in a noise complaint, all right, right now, uh, basically it's, it's to a phone line, it's recorded, we listen to the message, we take the information down, and then it just gets put into an Excel spreadsheet. And going forward, um, uh, I'm I'm going to be using this new software for what it call it for tracking stuff, and it, it, it'll split out the data faster for me. You know, like it'll give me the reports faster and, and stuff like that. Eventually, I will be able to have an online an online um, version where you could go in and put the re the report right in uh, yourself. Um, you know, but before I get to that level, I got to get this program up and running. But the program that I was talking about earlier is something different. It's a software program for tracking flights that uh, um, that I'm going to borrow from Bradley. So, so there's two different systems. That you're there's two about. different programs, I should say. So with that, so. And I can offer too that um, the the town is in the process of um, implementing a, a 311 system that allows for um, any resident to enter a complaint. They can download the app on their phone. Um, and it's for anything from, you know, tall grass, potholes, snow plowing issues, anything they see. We can add in um, noise complaints, flight complaints, and we can put in, you know, your email address. John, so it goes directly to you, but then we'll be able to track 
the complaints to and provide you with spreadsheets and reporting. Um, but we can mm -hmm. set it up if, if you're interested, we could set it up to have it just send the complaints directly to you from that system, but then we could have a, a record of it. And it's also a way that people can, like I said, they can use their phone or they can go on their computer and enter it. If they use their right. phone, they could even snap a picture of it and it'll put the picture with the complaint and it'll geolocate where the person's standing when they take the picture and all that will be part of the record. Um, so that's going to be, um, we're looking at a um, late September, early October launch. Um, we're working with staff now to develop it, but if it's something that um, the noise complaints from the airport or something we want to include into that, we can do that, and it, they can be routed directly to you. That would that would be great. We, oh, uh, yeah. The only, my only concern with that is though is I don't I don't have a problem with that. The only thing is that I just wouldn't want to make sure we're getting double reporting, like the person reports it to you, and then they call us and report it to us, and now instead of like four complaints, I got eight complaints. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, but my only concern with that. Um, but uh, we can talk about it uh, yeah. offline if you want. Yeah, we can even test it and see if, 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 if it looks like it's an issue. And if it is, then we can scrap it. But it's just something to consider. Yep. Right. Anything else? Any other business? Hearing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? Um, I'd just like to remind everybody to show up at the meeting at on August 10th at the um, Metzger Center for the final meeting of the um, consulting company. Thank you. I cannot make it that meeting. Definitely booked. So please I think you can send in through. you can send in a comment though, um, Pat. I don't remember how, but um, I'm sure you can explain. I have that. their link. That's okay, right. good, good. Yeah, yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. And recognizing Pete is on, uh, he got in. Thank you for joining. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Pete, him, and. Yep, I see it. Had a time con conflict there, so he made it as best he could. All right, thanks, Pete. Anything else for the good of the order? Uh, I motion that we adjourn. Okay, Judy, is there a second? Seconding. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, great. Thank you all. Um, and um, we can, uh, I'll put out some possible dates for the next meeting. We'll try to, if, if, if no one has an objection, I'll, I'll include that first week um, and see if it works for folks. And That's fine for me. Okay. It is for me too. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah.